Social work in general, I was interested in because of personal experiences in my kind of adolescence and early adulthood that led me to needing the support of some services. And it made me realise that I'd like to be in some kind of helping profession, some caring profession. Nursing and anything with blood or anything was never going to be for me. So um, I saw social work as in enabling people to change, um, to helping people through difficult parts of their life. And I thought that's kind of a career that I want. When I qualified and started practicing, I quickly kind of started seeing the trauma um, that children experienced and how that sat with them through the whole kind of lifespan into adulthood. And I did further training and studied psychology to be able to upskill myself to understand that a bit more. And then that's how I got into kind of specialism and trauma services. And then I started taking social work students, so practice educating them, assessing them, and really loved kind of doing that and that's what led me into lecturing. In regards to my independent work where I'm still a social worker, I do two types of independent work. The first being that I'm an expert witness. So that means that courts will instruct me to risk assess perpetrators of domestic abuse as to what level of risk they present to their children. And then the other type of independent work I do is parenting assessments in whatever capacity that means. Lots of face-to-face, -face, uh, hands-on work, getting to know families and then applying all the knowledge around trauma attachment that I've learned over the years to each family's case. And then uh, inevitably I give evidence in court as well. What the best part of my job is, is being able to tell that person's story with empathy and with compassion and doing it in a way that makes the courts and the system realise that people are a product of their, their own environment. I did an undergraduate degree, a BA uh, in social work. Um, since then I've gone on to do a postgraduate diploma in psychology and also I have systemic practice qualification and a qualification called the meaning of the child which is a specialist attachment interview to assess attachment risk between parent and child. Although to become a social worker it's the degree, the social work degree, those continual professional development um, courses and practices is what got me to where I am. If you're the sort of person who sees injustice, so you see it and you know it's wrong and you, and you see how people are treated and you don't, you don't agree with it, then social work, again, might be the career for you. Social work is all built around challenging oppression and challenging injustices. Go and do some voluntary work, contact social care, contact different charities to see if you can volunteer or shadow, working with maybe substance misuse, mental health, anything like that will give you an idea of uh, the sort of client groups you might be working with. So being able to expose yourself to, to people's difficulties and challenges is quite hard. So if you can go and do that and, it, and you're okay with that, then social work could be for you. <laughs>